Let's just get one painful fact across. You're not rich. I am shocked. Shocked. Well, not that shocked. Accept that and stop acting like you are. Ah, oh, raspberries. Warren Buffett has owned the same home in Omaha that he bought in 1958, despite the fact that he could pretty well live in any residence in the world he wanted to. Google Steve Jobs. That man had one outfit, and it wasn't exactly Instagram worthy. Bill Gates earns $380 per second, yet proudly wears a $10 watch. Oh, I didn't get rich by writing a lot of checks. <laughs> we all, myself included, want nice things. And maybe you can afford it in the simplest sense of the word afford. However, just because you can afford something doesn't mean you should actually buy it. And buying things to impress people is a really bad thing to do. It doesn't work and it won't make you happy. And the funny thing about this is that rich people actually don't act like this. Not genuinely rich people, or at least not very often. So what are rich people like then? They're better. First, let's distinguish between the rich and the super rich, because the level of wealth of a Warren Buffett is extraordinary and truly unnecessary. If you can't find happiness with $10 million, then you're not going to find happiness with 100 billion. The honest truth is rich is a pretty vague concept, and what rich people do is a broad spectrum because in general people do different things. And while some rich people do of course flaunt their wealth, the reality is that a lot of people do not. Being rich in a financial sense is really simply a measurement of your aggregate holdings of money and conventional assets. A nice sports car, while very expensive, isn't really an asset. From day one, all it does is lose value and come with high upkeep costs. On my income from my job as a lawyer alone, I could finance a sports car and I could meet the repayments, but it would be a really poor financial decision when I own a perfectly good car. If I were buying this for the appearance of success and wealth, I would be making a painfully stupid decision and one that unfortunately a lot of people do. The simple truth is owning a sports car does not make you rich. It should not be perceived as a status symbol of wealth and you shouldn't see it that way. It's true. So that was all a bit depressing, but it needn't be because the truth is anyone can become rich. Of course, the playing field isn't even, but that doesn't change the fact that all of us, to varying degrees, have the opportunity to improve ourselves, our lot in life, as well as our net worth, so we can enjoy fulfilling lives. And here is where we circle back to where we started. You're not rich, so stop acting like you are. You're not actually impressing anyone worth impressing. Ultimately, the people whose opinions you should care about won't be impressed or otherwise affected by the car you decide to drive, the pictures of your holiday on social media, or the value of whatever is on your wrist. Don't buy status. Don't buy brands, or at least don't buy them if you can't afford them comfortably. You need to know what the opportunity cost of that purchase is, because the $1,500 you could spend on the new maxed out iPhone now is worth over 50 grand if you were to let it compound at 9% for 40 years. The extra 15 grand you could have saved by buying a second hand, slightly older car could be worth over half a million, and other random expenses that you can cut out to save another $200 per week constantly reinvested would be worth over 4 million. And remember, if you can't find happiness with $4 million, then money is not the root cause of your unhappiness in life. I hope you enjoyed this video and took it in the humorous tone that it was intended. I'm not actually trying to offend anyone. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, comment, and subscribe.